I don't know about you guys, but I've always had this weird fascination about like going to people's houses and like looking at their fridge and like their cupboards and just seeing what kind of stuff they eat, what kind of stuff they buy. So I've had this idea to compare what's in an American versus what's in a British fridge. So I actually filmed this first part in America over a week ago. I just went to the shop and I just bought things that I felt like eating. So it's not very official, the American one, because I'm obviously not American. I don't know the products. This is my first time like buying them. So obviously take this video with a grain of salt. Don't get upset over it if it's not exactly what you'd expect. If you guys enjoy watching my American versus British series, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and switch my notifications on. This is American versus British, what's in my fridge? Uh, let's see what kind of stuff we got in the American fridge. I just went to the shop, I got some things that I always see people having in like movies or in YouTube videos from American YouTubers and I just bought it, but it, this is probably not what you guys have, just don't get upset at me because of that. This fridge is very noisy and it's kind of getting on my nerves. This is what happens when you get an Airbnb, you never know what you're gonna get. What I got in the freezer is this Baskin Robbins ice cream. I love Baskin Robbins ice cream. I think it's so, so good. I love coconut flavor, so this is gonna be amazing. I feel like we should try it. This is definitely gonna be melted, by the way. How satisfying is it to get the first scoop of ice cream? Oh my god. This was definitely the right choice. This is my happy ice cream now, so this is so good. Then I also got some Eggos. Eleven from Stranger Things is obsessed, and I've never tried them before, so I actually wanna see what it tastes like, and I'm sure a lot of people have bought this just because of Stranger Things as well. Keep your shit together, Baskin Robbins. Once again, I'm literally only staying here for filming, so I didn't want to get too much stuff because then I'm not even going to be able to finish this all. Some of these things are definitely not supposed to be in the fridge. I only put them here just so it's easier to show you so I don't have to open the cupboards. In first place, I've got some grape and peanut butter. I actually got this because I like to have this sometimes in the morning, and especially when you're in America. I mean, what else would you get? This is like Possibly the most American combination, peanut butter and jelly, so um, I love these two. This is a Dunkin' Donuts vanilla latte pop tart. Like, try to say that three times, because I'm sure that's difficult. But what even is with America and getting everything vanilla latte flavored? But to be fair, they got me, because I want to try it. I want to see what it tastes like, so I'm definitely going to be trying this. Maybe we should try it now, actually. Oh my god, that smells so good. It is just like vanilla latte. American people, they've done it again. Take that, China. So right here I've got one of these veggie and hummus tray. We don't actually have these in the UK, so I always see these in movies. People always snack on these, and I wonder if real people actually eat this. Because, I mean, I know you're trying to be healthy, but it doesn't look like this is going to taste very good. But I'm definitely going to try it. I'm going to try some celery with it. Mmm. That is not as healthy. <laughs> I think this is shockingly very nice. So over here I got one of the... What the hell is going on? Oh. <laughs> so over here I've got some butterscotch pudding. Um, I've never tried this before. I like butterscotch flavored things, but I can never find that in the UK. So I'm actually excited that I found this. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this later because I think it actually looks very good. This is a bit of a weird one, but I was actually talking to my friend who lives in LA and he said that he always has his Campbell soups just in case he, like, he gets hungry. And last but not least on the top shelf, I've got some water. American celebrities are always drinking this kind of water that comes in this bottle. So I decided to get one. This one is actually lemongrass tangerine flavor. This tangerine tastes like orange. If it does, I'm definitely not gonna like it, but I'm still gonna try it for you guys. I actually kind of like it. It definitely does not taste like orange. So if you want to have this, I definitely recommend as well. Down here, I've got some bread. I got this one because it said it was baked in Southern California, which seemed like the American thing to do. This is a white butter bread, which means I think it's gonna be like a little bit sweet, but I decided to get it anyways, just because I think it's more authentic to what people eat here. And it's gonna be really nice when I have it with the peanut butter and jam, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy that. I wanted to have like a small for like one person size, and this is the size of bread here. This is the smallest they get. I'm gonna say it again, I don't keep bread in the fridge. I only put it here so it's easier to show you everything. I'm gonna take it out after. And right here I've got some pickles. Once again, I also thought this was very American. I'm probably actually gonna have them because I do like pickles. It's kind of weird that it's in the fridge, but every single one of my American viewers said you have to get ramen noodles because that's like something that... Stop it! 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so this one is beef flavored. This one is oriental flavor. This one is chicken flavor. And then this one is shrimp flavor, which I think it's gonna be really nice as well. I think the most shocking thing about this one is that every single one of these costs like 30 cents, which is insanely cheap. Right here, I've got some instant meals. I'm actually gonna do that for a separate video. So if you guys wanna watch that, um, you probably already did or you're still gonna watch in the future. So that's gonna be a separate video. And then right here, I wanted to get some vegetables. And I wanted to get like a vegetable that people eat a lot here and by going to restaurants like this week in LA I see that people eat a lot of kale here. This is organic kale, which once again very LA. <laughs> okay, so over here we've got some almond milk. Um, I had to get this because we're in California and I think I'm pretty sure that's where almonds come from. So I'm actually excited to try this. I've never tried this brand. This is the brand that every YouTuber has in like their morning routines. I'm so excited. I've, I've always wanted to try flavored almond milk. Wait, was that open already? There's like a little metal thing to open and it's open. I'm still gonna try it. I'm not gonna die, right? That's so good. That also tastes like so sweet. I'm kind of scared of having more because this was open. And last but not least, the thing that I'm excited the most to try, the Arizona iced tea. So, just so you have an idea, to get one of these in the UK usually costs about like £3.99, which is the equivalent of like maybe like $5 per can. And here, this costs 69 cents. This one is the Mucho Mango Fruit Juice Cocktail. How amazing does that sound? Then this one is the Golden Bear Lemonade with Mango. That looks so delicious. And this is Jack's Piclo. I should know who that is probably. Sorry, I'm stupid. This one is watermelon iced tea flavor. How weird is that? That's literally the sort of stuff that you'd only get in America. So I'm gonna try them all separately and I'll let you know if I like them or not. So the first one that I'm gonna be trying today is Mucho Mango. I think that looks so good. So I can't wait to try this. Very tropical, very sweet, but still very refreshing. Just the reason why I love Arizona iced tea. So this next one that I'm gonna try is the lemonade with mango. This one is a little bit more refreshing, but definitely not as good as the first one, but this is very good still, I love it. It's very lemony, there's definitely not a whole lot of mango going on, but still very, very good. It deserves kind of like a half happy death, just one arm. And last but not least, the one that everyone is waiting for, the watermelon flavor. I can't even taste watermelon. It tastes like, kind of tastes like grapes to me. But I suppose it's not bad. I would say it's definitely not as good as the other ones, but it's really delicious as well. This is my fridge. You guys have seen it before in videos. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what's in it, because you didn't see that last time. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stuff that's on the door, which is one of my favorite drinks. I also like to drink this uh, when I'm ill, because I don't know why, because I think it's because people say that it's got like vitamin C in it, but it's probably just sugar. And then I also got some Lucozade. Um, I've actually never tried Lucozade before. Um, I got the original one and I got the orange one, just in case like my friends are gonna be visiting in the weekend. I've got HP sauce. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have HP sauce in America. It's kind of like barbecue sauce. It's very good and it's very popular in sandwiches, I think, in the UK. I usually got like eggs or other stuff or like sauces on top, but because it just came from a trip, everything's still empty. This is the rest of the fridge. I'm gonna show you every like single like shelf like individually. So starting here, I've got some mozzarella cheese. Then I've got a cheese and onion sandwich. I think cheese and onion sandwiches is more of a like old person taste. I don't know many young people who like it, but you know what? I love it, so that's what it is. Then over here, this is a bit of a weird one because I don't think a lot of people buy this in the UK. I'm not really like a big fan of like, like pork ham and I couldn't find a chicken one, so this is my other option. So I actually really like this. I'm not sure if it's a brand or if it's the actual thing, but it's basically like replacement for meat. It's like vegetarian like ham. So on the second shelf, we've got some sausage rolls. I would say this is a very British thing to have in your fridge. If I have too many of these, I can't eat them for like a month. So I feel like I can have one of these, not the two of them. In the back, I've never actually tried this before. I just thought it looked good. I'm gonna be editing for the next two days, so I thought this is actually nice because then I don't have to cook, I don't have to make a mess, I don't have to clean up. I'm gonna try it and I'll report to you if I liked it or not. It doesn't look amazing, but I don't think they had many options. Then I also got a chicken roast dinner. 
because this is like my actual favorite thing. I usually like it when it's like homemade. It doesn't taste as nice, but it's okay. It's decent. If you don't have time, it's better than nothing. I know everyone's gonna be saying, Rafa, why do you keep bread in your fridge? Why do you keep crumpets in your fridge? But the truth is, I don't keep them in my fridge. I just literally just put them here so it's easier to show you all the products. And I know even though I'm saying this twice in this video, everyone's gonna be like commenting about it. I always buy like seeded bread because I think it's so much nicer. I don't know I've, how I've ever lived without crumpets. I just think they're so amazing. They're basically like, like super like buttery and fluffy and just so good and I know this is probably weird for some people but I actually like to put cheese on them and then put them in the oven I don't know how people eat them normally but I really like them with melted cheese and I know that's like so disgusting and people are like oh my god Rafi can't do that but I do it and it is good I don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically cream biscuits and guys these are so addictive like once you start eating this I swear you can't stop like I'm not exaggerating over here I've got some Madeira cake Madeira cake is like one of my favorite things ever and this one from Tesco it just it's so good like not sponsored in any way but this one is actually amazing if you've never tried it before I would recommend you there you go, it's basically like a sponge cake if you've never had it before. And then in the last layer, I've got some water, I've got some caffeine-free Diet Coke. If you've never tried Hobnobs before, then you're really missing out. They're basically like, mm, they're not like digestive cookies, but sort of like digestive cookies with milk chocolate and honestly, I really love them. And last but not least, very lonely here, we've got a scone. I bought two scones from the bakery and I had one already and I left this one so I could show you in this video even though I really wanted to eat it. And that's basically it for what's in my fridge. And I know, first of all, a lot of people are gonna be in the comments like, I don't buy this sort of stuff. I don't think American people, I don't think British people buy this sort of stuff. And guys, I know that and I've, I'm ve being very open about that. This is stuff that I like and, and I thought like, I wanna eat that. So it's as simple as that guys. So I think for this video I'm gonna give both of the countries the title of winning this. So congratulations to the UK and congratulations to America. You guys both won because it would be unfair to compare like both fridges when one is my fridge and another one is like the fridge of like a place where I don't live. I love you all so much but please be kind to each other in the comments because some people get really upset over like like small things. If you guys enjoyed these kind of videos, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe, you know how it works. I have a special announcement when we get a little bit closer to 400,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate any of you guys who are subscribing to my channel and enjoying the content. I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye!